today we are going to look at the wings, but not wings that you use for flying, instead we are looking at the smart wings that will keep a shade in your home. We look at how easy it is to install them, what's included in the kit, what you need to be careful about ordering, and of course, if and how it hooks up to your smart home. And spoilers, it does hook really nice. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Yes, this is not the first video on this channel about smart roller shades or smart blinds or something similar. This time, once again, we are going to look at the matter compatible shades. And this means that they should work out of box with your home assistant. Smartwings approached me a couple of months ago and asked if I want to do a video. And to be honest, I was a bit skeptic because I already have two videos on the similar type of shades on my channel, but at the end I gave in, they said send out your dimensions that you need and we will be sending you free sample of the roller shades. And that's what I did. The ordering process is very simple, but you do need to be careful with ordering depending on how you want to install those shades. In my case, I was installing it above the newly installed balcony window and I had a bit of slack in terms of dimensions of the shades. So how does the ordering process look? You click on whatever you want to install, outer shades, stellar shades, dual shades, zebra shades, or in my case, roller shades. Select what type of material, transparency, etc. you want to go for. For example, I've chosen this one here, 70% blackout safari. Select color, for example, cream. And then you need to be careful with the mounting type. There are two different versions of the mounting. One is the in-window and the other one is above or top installation. If you go for an inside mount, you need to be careful with the measurements because if you are wrong with the measurements, the blinds will not fit in the space above the window. But as I said, in my case, I've opted for outside mount. So I have a bit more of slack. Select your width, for example, 31, fractions, if any, height, for example, 51, and fractions for height, if there are any. Next, you have option of selecting type of the motor. There is a standard motor that will be controlled via the remote. Then you have a Zigbee motor for all of you that prefer still Zigbee network over, for example, Matter or Thread or Matter. Then we have Amazon Alexa motor, Z-Wave Plus motor, HomeKit compatible motor, or the best one that is actually compatible with HomeKit via the Thread or Matter or Matter protocol, Home Assistant, once again via the same network, Google, etc, etc. And that is, of course, yes, the matter motor. You still need to select the finishes. Will it be standard, which doesn't have anything, cassette, which is the one that I went with, square or black square. I've opted out for the cassette and it looks really awesome and the finish is really perfect. Then we go for the bottom bar. It can be standard, fabric wrapped, square bottom, or the black square bottom bar. I went with the fabric one. There are still a couple of more steps. They are not mandatory, but you do need to select at least none. You can go for none, or you can opt out for the solar panel. Solar panel is awesome if you want to forget that you need to ever recharge those shades, but it does put a bit of extra cost. I've selected no. And for the remotes, you can go for either no remote, one five channel remote, 15 channel remote or helix dial remote with eight channels, either black or silver. I went for the simple five channel remote. And last two options are roller type, free standard rollback side or a reverse rollback side. I went for the reverse one, which is also free, same as a standard, because I was worrying that it will be hitting on the window handle. Then this was really a good idea. And the last thing you need to select is if you want to go for the left side motor or the right side motor. It all depends on what is the easiest way for you to access. Is it from the left side, right side, or you simply do not care. You can give it a label if you want to order more than one. For example, let's call this one bedroom and just click on add to cart. And that's how easy it is to order customized blinds for your window. The packages or the one package, which included two blinds and all the accessories, mounting kits, etc. inside arrived in around two weeks. 
and this was during the period of Chinese New Year. So they were apologizing if delivery would be late, but actually it arrived faster than I was expecting it, because each blind is custom made or custom tailored based on your order. Everything that is needed for the installation mounting, depending on what type of mounting you want to do, is included in the kit. Plus, of course, the manual, solar panel if you ordered it, or and also remote, if you ordered any remote with your blinds. The process of installation is super easy. You find a place or spot where you want to install them, get your drill out, drill a hole for the mounts, make sure that they are straight, install two or three mounts depending on the length of the blinds or shades, slide in the front side first and then just push upwards the back side and it should click into place. That's it, the installation is done. But don't worry, if you have any issues, the installation guide that you receive with your shades is really awesomely written. And there is also a website that will guide you whatever you need to do for the installation type that you want to do. Everything is nicely documented. For example, quick start guide if you've already installed the shades. You need to press and hold the button on the shades for two seconds and you need to do that for each and every shade that you've installed. The device that you receive from a factory will already have adjusted limits, but if you want to play or change them, you can also follow the steps inside the guide. And that's how you have installed and working shades that should be working now with remote. In this installation that I did, there are two shades, one next to the other, and with each kit I received remote. Actually, you only need one remote because you can add the other shade to the first remote. So that's what I also did because this allows me to control both shades individually, but also group them and control them at the same time. Okay, so far nothing fancy except really sleek design, really well made, well fabricated shades, but they are more or less like any other shade on the market. Actually, no, besides a very quiet motor, they also have one thing that I've never seen in a smart shades so far. And as I said, I did review a couple of them. Each time they are ending descent or ascent, reaching the bottom or the top, they slow down a bit, like parking the car. The second thing that I mentioned is the sound. They are really, really, really quiet. But now was also time to finally hook this up to smart home. In this setup where I installed them, and no, it's actually not my home, I've installed it and hooked it up first to the Apple ecosystem. Why? Because that person still doesn't have home assistant and this is something that I will definitely fix in the future. The installation or pairing process for connecting to Apple ecosystem was very easy because we were using Matter. That means that we needed to open the home app on the Apple mobile phone, scan the QR code, press and hold the button for a couple of seconds, six if I'm not mistaken, scan the QR code and the first shade will slowly be added to the home ecosystem. There is also one other thing that you can do and that's use a remote to activate the matter pairing procedure. Instead of using button and holding the button for six seconds, you can remove the back cover from the remote, select the channel that you want to control or shade that you want to pair, on the back side press the button, the blind will slowly go up and down, then on the front side hit the button quickly and once again the shade will go up and down and repeat the back side of the remote by pressing the button. That will turn on the matter pairing procedure, so you don't need to jump and hold the button for 6 seconds if the roller shades are too high. Once again repeat the same process, scan the QR code inside the home app and the shade will be added. You can then of course control them individually or you can pair them inside the app. It's all up to you. And also you can now use smart speakers to control them via the voice. But yeah, I did mention that that home doesn't have home assistant, but it doesn't mean that I didn't brought my test instance of home assistant with me, hooked it up at that location and decided to try and add it to that network where there was no home assistant before. For this purpose, I used the ability from within the home app, Apple HomeKit app, went to the device page and enabled further pairing of the device. You click on the button and the new QR code or new code for adding the device will be visible on screen. You just copy that code, go to Home Assistant, go to Integrations page, click on Matter, click on Yes, this device has already been paired and then just paste the code there. It should then pick up the matter code from 
HomeKit that is actually paired to the specific blind or roller shade and add the device. I've repeated the procedure two times, added two codes, added two blinds and now the devices are also visible inside Home Assistant, individually left one and the right one. That means that those shades can be controlled by the Home Assistant, HomeKit or Home Apple app and of course remote. Plus of course speakers, be those speakers ESP home speakers or the Apple ecosystem. And that's pretty much it. So what are the pros and cons? For cons I really didn't pick up anything, both during the ordering process, unpacking process or the installation process. Everything went smooth. And sometimes we creators need a bit of magic and redo things 2-3 times because things don't work from the first try. But actually here everything worked from the first try. I remember pairing my first blinds to the Meta ecosystem year, year and a half ago, first video for the smart blinds, and I had to repair or factory set the blinds two times. I've lost the height limit, both upper and lower, I lost the rotation direction, I've lost all the settings and all the bindings. With these ones it's just a simple clicks, either to start the pairing on the device or by using the remote for each specific blind. And that means that I really do not have any con. Maybe after a couple of more months of usage and they have been installed now for over two or three months, maybe something will creep up. But in the last three months, these blinds have been, from what I've heard, working perfectly. I've also created a routine in a home kit in such a way that when the person leaves the home, the blinds will go down for the privacy protection. And that's pretty much it. One new thing that SmartWings has is something that wasn't available when I was ordering, but also I'm not sure if I would be using them. These are the blinds that work as a matter over Ethernet shade devices, PoE powered. If anyone from you has PoE switch and access to the PoE switch near the shades, maybe this is the best option for the power. Not maybe as good as the solar shades, but still using PoE switch to power the Metro Veteran shades is a nice touch. I really do hope that you did find this video interesting and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you have any kind of a comment, question, idea for the future video, you are always more than welcome to leave them down in a comment section below. And before I end up the video, as always, I want to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so, as always, by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.